to you, it would appear to be the exact same as non-existence, but it's technically not non-existence because non-existence does not exist. However, if you were to experience what you call the one, your consciousness would completely change because in order to experience the one, you have to merge with the one. You have to dissolve the self. And that's how the one creates the experience of having no experience through acting as a type of dissolving agent. It will dissolve the ego filter of whatever form of consciousness attempts to interact with it. And through that dissolution of ego, there is a type of death process that takes place on the consciousness level. And that then facilitates the idea of a rebirth into something new, into a new perspective or into a new form of life form expression. So there's all types of things that can happen when one merges with the one. But when one merges with the one, there will only be the one. The small self dissolves in the presence of that level. And that's why it is oftentimes equivocated to non-existence, because it, in a sense, will break down your sense of individuality completely. And when that happens, because the individuality creates a sense of separation, the separation also disperses and you have both all experiences and no experiences at the same time. It translates as a bit of a paradoxical type of experience. But that's the nature of the one. There's many names for it. The Ein, Shiva, Wuji. There are many different names for this level. But it is seen primarily as the highest level you can go to. It is so high that there really is no room for there to be another self in its presence. All things become it in its presence. And paradoxically, all things appear to no longer exist when one is in its presence. So have fun playing around with that.